Now, this footage combined with witness accounts does suggest the Burmese army is going beyond the president's public instructions that they should fight only in self-defense. Our correspondent Jonah Fisher has this exclusive report. High in the air above Kachin State, not far from the Chinese border, a helicopter gunship fires on the ground below. Filmed from rebel trenches by an aid agency, these pictures clearly show jet planes being used against fighters from the Kachin Independence Army. It's part of a marked escalation in an 18-month-long conflict that's displaced more than 75,000 people. As the jet approached, it just sounds like it's screaming, it's so loud, and everyone ran into the bunker and, and, and ducked, and um, as it turned, we could see that it wasn't going to fire in our position, but it started firing a machine gun at a different KIA position just a couple hundred meters away. This fresh fighting poses the question that's at the very heart of Burma's reform process. It's whether the president has the support of the army in his efforts to start peace talks and introduce further reforms. In Kachin state, Tain Sein has called on the army to only fight back in self-defense. It's clear from the events of the last week that they're doing much more than that. The director of the Burmese president's office told the BBC that the situation was complex and that the military had told them it was only using the airplanes to resupply its troops and had no information on the use of helicopters. For human rights campaigners, the war in Kachin is further evidence that the world has been hasty in lifting sanctions and embracing Burma's leaders. All the hubris and optimism that we're hearing from parts of the international community about the reformers around President Tencent uh, face a, a real reality test when we look at places like Kachin State, where it seems that the army is still very much in control of the political agenda, continuing to shut out humanitarians and continuing to violate human rights. Much has changed in Burma, but the continuing violence in Kachin is a potent reminder of the power still wielded by the Burmese army. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Bangkok.